How's it going guys? Shape here and welcome to the channel. This video is going to go over what I have found to be my easiest flips to do and make some good return on investment in patch 9.0. These flips aren't in any particular order as depending on your server they can differ which methods to focus on. Also there's a number of add-ons you can use to make finding out which of these methods is currently worth doing. I always suggest using TSM and Ludapraiser to help you in your goal making efforts but sometimes the data isn't 100% accurate so instead I usually just favor the item I'm looking for in the auction house and check there to be certain before I start. The flips I'm about to go over aren't going to be something you can rely on for your everyday gold making but are great forms of passive gold making that take little to no effort. The first flip that we're going to go over is going to be the Spirit of Harmony flip. To get things started you're going to want to head over to the Veil of Eternal Blossom. There should be a portal in either of the faction portal rooms that should take you there. Once you're in Veil, you will want to fly over and see Danky at the Shrine of Two Moons for Horde and Crystal at the Shrine of the Seven Stars for the Alliance. Both of these NPCs will sell an item that you're going to be able to exchange for Spirits of Harmony. The most profitable items I have found are the Golden Lotus, Black Trillium Ore, and White Trillium Ore. I have broken them out in this chart to clearly show you guys how much profit you can expect from this farm. I know there's some add-ons that do this, but I have had issues with those in the past and the data isn't updating correctly, so I prefer to just use a Google Sheet and calculate it myself. From this chart, you can see that Golden Lotus is the most profitable item for me on my server. However, you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket as the sales rate is only 0.07. This is why you don't want to just buy a ton of Golden Lotus and try and sell them all at once. I recommend you either space out your sales and offer no more than a stack of 200 at a time or buy different items from the vendor. This will cost you around 12,000 gold per stack of 200 to buy that many Spirits of Harmony if they're going for 120 gold each on your server like they are mine. Once you have sold all of your Golden Lotus, you can see a pretty decent return for little to no effort, then you may be going to repost the items if they don't sell. If you decide to buy some of the Black or White Trillium Ore, the same factors are in place. Purchase no more than stacks of 200 at a time not to flood the auction house and wait for the item to sell before buying more. Once you do sell your items, you should see a pretty decent return as well for the Black Trillium and White Trillium Ore. Obviously, if you do the math on these on your server and you're not going to make a profit, then don't do that method. Move on to the next and see if there's any that sell better. I haven't had too many problems on the auction house right now on my server and I've been posting them there so there doesn't seem to be too much competition right now. I was able to sell 600 Golden Lotus, 200 Black Trillium Ore, and 200 White Trillium Ore over the course of about a month. I was able to profit 168,000 gold from the Golden Lotus, 2200 gold from the Black Trillium, and 2200 gold from the White Trillium Ore. That's a total profit of almost 173,000 gold for practically no effort other than going over to Vale and getting the items from the vendor. Another easy flip that I wanted to talk about with you guys is another item to vendor exchange. This time we're going to head out to Dalaran and seek out the Frozen Orb vendor. Make sure you're going to Northern version of Dalaran because I don't believe you will see the NPC in the Legion version. You will find the vendor here where I'm located on the map. Once you make your way to the commercial exchange, you mainly are going to be exchanging your Frozen Orbs for Eternal Water and maybe Fire depending on your server. On my server, all the other items don't make any profit at all, so I wouldn't focus on those. However, I would double check your server to see what the profit margins are and if they're any different. The water and fire sell for around the same sales rate, so whichever is more profitable I would focus on. Now if you want to split between the two and not flood the auction house, then you can definitely do that as well. Again, I suggest not buying more than 200 at a time for the reason of not flooding the market and getting into an undercutting war with whoever else is trying to sell these. It took me a few weeks to finally sell all the fire and water I put up, but in the end I was able to make a pretty decent profit. As you can see, I was able to buy the frozen orbs for 95 gold each and sold each fire for 104 gold and each water for 237 gold each. The total amount I spent on these frozen orbs was around 38,000 gold. I made a little over 20,000 gold for the eternal fires and 47,000 gold for the eternal waters. So my grand profit between the two items I bought from the frozen orb vendor was around 67,000 gold. If we subtract that from the 38,000 gold we invested, and then I profited almost 30,000 gold from this method. Even if this takes a little while to sell, you're still going to be making pretty much free money since you aren't doing very much at all besides trading these items. The question I get for a lot of gold farms like this that I've done in the past is is it worth just farming out the materials instead of buying them on the auction house? 
My usual answer is no, because it is going to take you more time to farm these out most likely, and you could be doing something more reliable with your time. These aren't going to be your everyday go-to farm, but like I said earlier, they're going to make you some steady gold for practically doing nothing. Now, if there is an easy way to get any of these items, by all means do it, but for these farms, there isn't really an easy way to get frozen orbs or spirits of harmony since they are random drops, so I would stick with just buying all you can from the auction house and just make your profits that way. Well, there you have it, guys. Some easy gold flips to do right now in patch 9.0. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed the video to show some love for the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.